Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After saving a building block in Word, you can easily use it later when creating documents based on the template into which you saved the building block content. This lesson shows you how to insert the building block content and also how to edit or delete existing building blocks. You use the building blocks organizer in Word to perform many tasks related to using building blocks. This dialog box lets you insert, edit the properties of, or delete existing building block content. To access this dialog box, click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the Quick Parts button in the Text button group. Then choose the Building Blocks Organizer command from the drop-down menu to open the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. This dialog box lists the building blocks available for use within the current document. You can click any building block within this list to select it and preview its content in the area at the right side of the dialog box. To insert a building block, select it from the list. Then click the Insert button at the bottom of the dialog box. The content is then inserted into the document at the currently selected location. Doing this also closes the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. To edit the properties of or delete a building block, first select the name of a building block from the list in the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. Alternatively, to open the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box and automatically select the building block if it was saved into the Quick Parts gallery, click the Quick Parts drop-down button in the Text button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then right-click the building block in the drop-down menu that appears and select the Organize and Delete command from the pop-up menu that appears. To delete the selected building block, then click the Delete button at the bottom of the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. You must then confirm your choice in another dialog box that appears by clicking the Yes button to delete the selected building block. In this case, the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box then remains open. To edit the properties of a building block, Select the building block whose properties you wish to edit from the list within the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. Then click the Edit Properties button at the bottom of the dialog box to open the Modify Building Block window. This window lets you edit any of the associated properties of the building block. After editing its properties, then click the OK button to save your changes. Once again, another dialog box then appears and prompts you to confirm your changes. Click the Yes button to confirm and save your changes. When finished using the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box, you can click the Close button to close it and return to your document. You can also quickly insert building block content that is available to your document in a way that doesn't involve the protracted process of using the Building Blocks Organizer. If the building block you want to insert into your document has a unique name, then you can simply type the unique name of the building block to insert into your document at the place where you want the building block content to appear. Then, with your insertion point either in or immediately following the unique name of the building block, press the F3 key on your keyboard. Word will then replace the unique name of the building block with the actual building block content. Alternatively, you can also insert a building block saved into the Quick Parts Gallery into the currently selected document location by simply clicking the Quick Parts button that appears in the Text button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then click to select the building block to insert from the drop-down menu that appears. Alternatively, to insert the building block into a different location, right-click it in this drop-down menu instead. Then select where to insert the building block from the location choices that appear in the pop-up menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.